Thwaites Glacier in Antarctica may melt down in five years. Scientists revealed December 13 at the American Geophysical Union's Autumn Conference in New Orleans that the disintegration of a West Antarctic glacier offers the world's greatest danger to raising sea levels before 2100. The glacier is 120 kilometers long and if it all fell into the ocean, it would increase sea levels by 65 centimeters, or more than 2 feet. Currently, its melting contributes to 4% of global sea level increase. But a major chunk of the glacier is going to lose its precarious grasp on the bottom, geologists say. Since 2004, a floating ice shelf, a glacier extension that juts into the sea, has supported the eastern portion of Thwaites. Currently, the ice shelf's underbelly is jammed against a submerged mountain 50 kilometers offshore. That pinning point is effectively holding the ice mass together. In the past two years, experts have found that the shelf's bracing is wearing thin. Warm ocean waves are eroding ice from below. SN, the 4th of September 21, the 9th of September 20. The glacier's ice shelf is losing bulk and moving inland, ultimately disappearing behind the submerged mountain that anchors it. Meanwhile, expanded fissures and crevasses slithering through the ice like cracks in a glass, breaking and weakening it. According to Erin Pettit of Oregon State University in Corvallis, this fatal punch-jab uppercut combo of melting from below, ice cracking, and losing its grasp on the pinning point is driving the ice shelf to impending collapse. Satellite measurements reveal that Thwaites Glacier's movement over land and into the sea has roughly quadrupled in 30 years. The loss of this doomsday glacier would destabilize neighboring West Antarctic glaciers, causing more ice to flow into the ocean and rising sea levels. Scambo says Thwaites is the most significant area to examine near-term sea level rise. So, in 2018, US and UK researchers started a five-year effort to monitor the glacier and predict its future by placing equipment above, inside, below, and offshore. With this all-out effort to study Thwaites, researchers have discovered a number of new and exciting things about the glacier's grounding zone, where it meets a floating ice shelf and starts to melt. Scientists have also discovered how rising and falling tides may accelerate melting by pushing warm water deeper into the ice and generating new melt channels and crevasses. As Thwaites and other glaciers move inland, some scientists wonder whether they may construct gigantic ice cliffs along the ocean's edge, causing catastrophic sea level rise, SN, the 2nd of June 19. Scientists don't know enough about ice behavior to predict the likelihood of such a collapse, SN, September 23, 20, so does the Thwaites cooperation. They discovered that if the terrain underneath Thwaites Glacier drops deeply enough in certain areas, it may lead to extremely towering ice cliffs, but also deforms and thins enough to make creation problematic.